What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of multiplayer issue or error you're currently having in Satisfactory. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys who would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to click your Windows and your R key at the same time. Once you did that, you should be able to popping, as uh, seeing this little tab popping up. Afterwards, I want you to type in CMD and hit enter. What I want you to do is going to be to simply type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, I want you to simply end this task and navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, clicking onto network and internet, and just clicking onto network troubleshooter. You're going to use Windows in order to find any network problem you're currently having. If nothing pops up, click onto network and sharing center. Click onto the second link where it says change adapter settings and stick under the first one where it says either internet or ethernet just depends on which one you're currently using. Right click, disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments so just wait, pa wait patiently until it's connected again and once it's connected you should be able to end this task and return back to your network and sharing center. So let's wait a little bit. Now you could return back. Once you're here, just click onto the blue printed text where again it says Ethernet or Internet. Properties. Double click onto Internet Protocol version 4. And enable to use the following DNS server addresses. On the preferred DNS server, just type in 4 times 8. And on the alternate DNS server, just type in 2 times 4 and 2 times 8. Once you're finished, I gently want you to click OK and apply. That's it for the video. I hope they could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. And see you at the next one.